Welcome to this new video about the Pi 5 2GB. When this video is going to be released, the Pi 5 2GB just launched. I'm talking about the new $50 Raspberry Pi 5, the newest addition to the lineup of our beloved Raspberry Pi family of single board computers, and why the $10 price difference to the Raspberry Pi 5 4GB really matters. Let's dive in. The Pi 5 versus Pi 4 prices uh, comparison is an interesting bit uh, to see how prices are evolving. So Pi 4 1GB is currently the top of the line $35 computer. If you remember that was the original reason for the raison, raison d'etre uh, of Raspberry Pi uh, that it is a $35 single board computer. And over many years they have continued to push the envelope on what is possible with $35. Pi 4 delivers a really seriously impressive performance at that price point. Currently there is no version of Pi 5 at $35. And if we look at the trends, so Pi, 5, Pi 4 2GB at 45 versus Pi 5 2GB at 50, we would very much doubt that actually Pi 5 1GB would also be priced at $35. It may be psychological, if there's no uh, Pi 5 at $35, then the kind of trend of Raspberry to offer $35 computers uh, with 1GB RAM, like lower entry, lowest entry versions, um, would still be held up by the Pi 4 1GB. Part of the reason might be psychological, but a bigger part probably has to do with something different, which I'm going to dive in uh, later in the presentation. We'll also briefly explore about a Pi 5 16 GB model and a the possibility there. With the Pi 4, we top out at $75 currently, whereas with the Pi 5, for Pi 5 8 GB, we are at $80. So there's a $30 price difference between the new entry model, Pi 5 2 GB, with $50 and the top of the line model by 5 HB with $80. Do $10 of the price difference between the Pi 5 2GB and the Pi 5 4GB really matter? I would say if you're a maker, if you're someone who's building a one-off, for example a home entertainment system or a retro gaming station, or if you're just experimenting with it, if you're developing on it, then no, $10 do not really make a very big difference in the grand scheme of things. They do not matter to everyone in the same way, but they do matter to groups like teachers. And let's uh, explore a couple of other groups, five groups to whom these $10 really matter. Let's have a look at non-profit initiatives, which are building rural connectivity, for example. There's situations where there's no internet so uh, they host Wikipedia and other things offline. And for hosting things like that, you don't need, really need a lot of RAM. If it's a village which you're supporting and the people are not going to be always using it, etc. So if you can cut down on these $10, you might actually be able to install more pies in additional villages and help people in a further Way. So the help, the profit, um, or not non-profit rather, uh, will be able to support more of its good work because the Pi is a bit cheaper. $10 multiplied by 10,000 units is already $100,000. So big amount. The other area which might benefit from this new Pi 5 2GB is business users who use the Pi in applications such as digital signage. Look at all these screens. Now, if you put a Pi behind every one or two of these, since the Pi 5 has two HDMI ports, you can drive two screens with it. If you put a Pi 5 behind one of every of these, you will significantly cut cost if you are able to save $10 on every Pi which you install. Another example are AI applications, pictured here with the Raspberry Pi AI kit in the lower corner based on Halo. So um, if you are using AI on the Halo actually, you usually do not need a lot of RAM. The Halo, the model will be loaded into the Halo anyways, it will run on the Halo, you will run visual recognition models and things like that. Where a lot of RAM is needed actually is during training of these models. But during inference, we try to keep the model small in order to be able to load it into the halo and to be able to speed up the results of the processing. So usually in these edge AI applications, you wouldn't require a lot of RAM 
for visual recognition tasks. Large language models are a completely different beast and we'll address them in a separate video. Industrial IoT deployments. If you figure a big industrial application where you have maybe, let's say, lots of screens giving the workers instructions on what to do, or you have situations where you are using the Raspberry Pi for measuring sensor data, or actually displaying a small web browser. In all of these applications, a lot of Pi 3 are still being used. And the Pi 3, the Pi 4, with the lowest amount of RAM with 1 GB or 2 GB, they're usually enough for that. And again, if you deploy a hundred or a thousand of these across your factory or across several of your factories as an industrial uh, enterprise, or you, you even do this in the form of a service where you deploy Raspberry Pis, across uh, several industrial sites which then do specific tasks, maybe even AI related, for the enterprises or companies which are using them. When you cut down on a lot of, uh, on ten dollars on a lot of units, you will be able to save a lot of cost and use that money more effectively, for example, driving research. Then schools and universities, of course, research labs, who want to build up clusters of uh, Raspberry Pis. And by the way, for building clusters specifically, there's a different solution called the Compute Blade by Uptime Industries, which I am also going to speak about and share more in on this channel. But for schools and universities, usually these are strapped short on cash. They want to serve a lot of students and they want the students to acquire modern digital skills. They want to, them to have access to modern equipment. So the $10 price difference might make actually might make a big difference in, in the decision whether the purchasers purchase Pi 4, 4 GBs or Pi 5, 2 GBs maybe. Cutting down on the RAM but increasing the other parameters. Specifically for digital tasks and even small starting tasks like programming, which you would do on a Pi 5, 2 GB might actually be enough RAM. We've made do with 1 GB of RAM or even 512 megabytes of RAM for a very long time now. And 2 GB is certainly double that. Now let's come to uh, one of the questions of whether there's going to be a Pi 5 1 GB or a Pi 5 16 GB. Now remember we discussed that maybe expecting a Pi 5 1 GB at $35 is not realistic. But actually there's a lot of additional things um, going on behind the scenes which I'm going to share with you briefly. And this has a lot to do with this picture. You see the DRAM market, specifically for the Pi 5, something called LPDDR4, low power um, dual density RAM. This is very volatile and actually being traded uh, on the on some kind of stock market, if you wish. It's not uh, something where the price can be predicted extremely accurately. Prices fluctuate. They might fluctuate even by 10 to 15 percent a quarter. So imagine if the price goes up four quarters in a row, that would already be a 50 percent roughly price hike, right? So prices do historically fall. Let's have a look actually at how that developed because that's interesting. So here's the time lapse of uh, historical prices of computer memory and storage. Now you see that these are absolutely fantastic numbers like 3.79 quadrillion dollars per terabyte of RAM uh, starting out in 1956 and then dropping, dropping, dropping. Note that this is a logarithmic scale here until we arrive in 2023. Let's have a look at actually what these prices translate to in certain terms. So here I've charted uh, or I've picked a couple of points from this interesting historical chart to see how the prices dropped over time. In 1980 you would have paid 20 million dollars per gigabyte of RAM. Imagine if you could teleport yourself back to, to the 80s and sell Pi 5 2 GBs you would be a very fantastically rich person. $20 million, so you're holding $40 million worth of RAM in your hands once you purchase the Pi 5 2GB, but in terms of 1980s pricing. And then the prices dropped significantly to 90,000 in 1990, 1,000 in, in the year 2000, to something like $11 
in 2010 and then as per this chart to $1.09 per RGB in 2023. Now remember what I shared with you about the historical price fluctuations and the special kind of DRAM which the Pi 5 needs which is LPDDR4 so low power RAM. Let's actually have a look so this data here above is just rough guideline showing you how the price fell over time but let's have a look at the current market prices for this i opened mauser and just had a look at two of these memory modules here as you see it says here 16 gigabit but that's an important bit to know is that one gigabyte and in the pi 5 2gb we have two gigabytes is eight gigabits so actually these are two gigabytes worth of memory. So as you see here, this is kind of the RAM which is being used on the Pi 5. Well, it's it's a similar product. Most likely they're using a different manufacturer. But here you see that this would clock in at $13.70. In this case, it's not 24 gigabytes, but 24 gigabits. So you have to divide by eight. That would be about three gigabytes. So let's have a look again in our Excel table. If we calculate that, uh, the, these mouser prices, we actually come out at about 6.85 and 7.73 gigabyte. I couldn't resist and actually calculate roughly how the Pi 5 price differences and how the LPDDR4 difference, uh, price difference relate to each other. So we took the $6.85, which is the lower of the two prices, from the mouser estimate and then I just multiplied these. and. You can kind of see if it's 1 GB, it's $6.85. and 16 GB, you would be at $109.60. For the difference, so if we take 2 GB as the base, so the Pi 5 it being priced at $50 and the LPDDR at $13.70, if we go from 2 to 4 GB, we have a price difference of $13.70, whereas the Pi 5 price difference actually is just $10. And a similar situation is here with 8GB, so we have a price difference of $41.10 and a Pi 5 price difference is $30. That's a sweet deal, I'd say. Well, of course, Pi probably won't make any loss on the Pi 5 8GB compared to the Pi 5 2GB. They are purchasing the DRAM in higher volumes, which also makes a product at a price like the Pi 5 possible. But also note that this is not a lot to play with, right? Like even if this is, let's say, 50% cheaper or let's say 20, 30% cheaper, there's not much overhead, not much margin. And now keep in mind what I told you before that actually the DRAM prices fluctuate quite a lot. So that's why Raspberry Pi has to be extremely careful and they have to reserve a certain buffer and they have to actually plan ahead and reserve a buffer in order to be able to deliver and to continue to deliver the Pi at uh, prices which you see in the market. So it's, it's a game where there's some risk involved which is mitigated through something called contracts. So possibly one of the reasons why the Pi 5 2GB launched only now is because only now Raspberry Pi has been able to lock in a certain price which they need in order to be able to manufacture the Pi 5 2GB at this $10 price difference of just $50 of sales price into the market. Now, how would the situation look for a Pi 5 1GB? There's a price difference of $6.85. Let's say Pi 5 one GB might again be one dollar cheaper. F sorry, five dollars cheaper. So we would get it for something like forty-five dollars. But this is then you know ten dollars more expensive than the Pi Four One GB. So Pi would have to drop actually more. So they would have to drop maybe another ten dollars. And maybe just in this particular case, it's not possible due to the component uh, cost of components which are being used on the Pi 5 and also something where like I believe they put in something like 25 to 50 million dollars worth of engineering and research into the RP1 which is on the Pi 5. So this of course also has to amortize across the Pi 5s. Meaning if they would actually want to do a 35 or even 40 dollar Pi 5 it might actually be something where they would make a loss on. And this is of course not sustainable. That's why we might probably see the Pi 5 2GB at the $50 price point for quite some while before we even get a Pi 5 1GB. Now if memory prices decrease further, as they've done historically, and I've just shown you how they did in the grand picture, we might actually see it 
in let's say maybe two three years let's keep our fingers crossed let's see what happens how expensive would the pi 5 16 gb there uh, be compared to the Pi 5 HB. So there there might be some versions of the Pi 5 appearing in the future, but I'm not sure whether the market will be able to actually sustain the 16 GB price for the Pi 5, whether people will be happy to pay $150 for a Pi 5. And actually, if you remember, due to taxes and other things, it might not be something like $150, but more something like 200 euros or 195 euros, including VAT and so on. Let's get to this next bit here, which is how to understand what RAM size a Pi 5 has. There actually, the Pi 4, you would have to have, uh, have a look in software, but with the Pi 5, they have created a very interesting uh, memory chart here. As you see, it goes all the way from 1, 2, 4 to 8 GB, so we might keep hope for the 1 GB version still appearing sometime in the future, as I say, when the DRAM prices are right and when Pi has the ability to purchase enough of them and at a good price. So the position of this little black resistor here will tell you what size the board has. So in this case, because the resistor is a 2 GB point, you will actually be able to tell that it's a 2 GB Pi, which you have purchased and received from your favorite Raspberry Pi reseller. Right now only 8, 4 and 2 GB are available as discussed. And note also there is no field for the 16 GB version. So let's see whether a 16 GB version will appear. Where to buy the Pi 5 2 GB? In Germany, Austria and Switzerland or generally in Europe for bigger quantities where shipping is not so much a concern, we invite you to purchase at our own shop by 0.de slash Pi 5 minus 2 GB. For other Raspberry Pi resellers worldwide, you can have a look at the Raspberry Pi website. If you scroll down on this website, you will be able to see where you can purchase the Pi 5 2 GB from your favorite local Raspberry Pi reseller. If you loved this presentation and took value from it, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this. I promise to deliver more content about Raspberry Pi and AI hardware specifically, and I'm always looking for new suggestions on this channel from the community what video to do next. Thank you so much and enjoy your Pi 5 2GB.